what's happening gang it's your boy retro back again with another reaction video yeah yeah today we got another huge update i know y'all could probably already tell it is going down just by that title alone definitely gonna want to see this one as i think we are witnessing the end guys it is finally all over we've got nancy pelosi coming out saying that she wants to pull Kamala and throw Joe back in it after last night's dumpster fire interview on Fox News with Brett Bear, guys. I'm excited to get into it, so we're not straight into it. Make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Before we get into it, y'all, hit that like button, also hit that subscribe button for you, boy. And without further ado, let's jump straight into it, folks. We got Brett Bear coming out exposing the Kamala Harris campaign for pulling last minute shenanigans, trying to shorten the interview and delay its release. Look at this. You know, when the kicker in football, uh, they call a timeout uh, right before he's going to kick the field goal. Uh, they're icing the kicker. So we were supposed to start at 5 p.m. Uh, we This was the time they gave us. Originally, we were going to do 25 or 30 minutes. Um, they came in and said, well, maybe 20. Uh, so it was already getting whittled down. And then um, the vice president showed up about 5.15. We were pushing the envelope to be able to turn it around for the top of the 6 o'clock. So um, that's how it started. And I could tell when we started talking that she was going to be tough to to you know redirect uh, without me trying to interrupt. I did this with President Obama. At one point I just said, Mr. President, I know you like the filibuster. Um, I just didn't even have the chance uh, to... Some Wow, guys. Wow, wow, wow. So there we got Brett Bear coming out saying they stalled me out. I didn't even think they were going to show up. I thought Kamala was going to be a no-show to this interview. Then I know where she shows up 15 minutes late trying to kill time. I mean, come on, you guys. And then get this, guys. She shows up shaking and screaming when she's asked the most basic interview question. Guys, check this one out. But talked about locking people up because they disagree with him. This is a democracy. And in, in a democracy... The president of the United States in the United States of America should be willing to be able to handle criticism without saying he'd lock people up for doing it. I don't know, guys. I, I want to say that she's angry here and this is true passion, but I just think this is phony. This is fake. You know, she's just trying to seem concerned with what Donald Trump is saying, trying to push more of that fear mongering to say we shouldn't have a president, the president of the United States, the states of the United States of America. Like, why is she running it on? I think she said that twice. President of the United States of America shouldn't be saying those things. Kamala Harris is it so phony, so fake, guys. You just can't make this but stuff you up. Call Let's not Donald Trump. The you, you, you call Donald Trump. You call Donald Trump. He's misguided. You say now he's he unstable. Is unstable. He is unstable, but uh, he's not well. well. You say he's it, mentally not stable. Uh, he's not stable. Let me ask you this. And, you and told we many interviewers. Guys, this right here is pathetic, an absolute joke. She is talking the entire time. He is like, she's giving a rebuttal to everything he's saying. Brett can't even get a single sentence out, single word, honestly, without Kamala Harris interjecting. Listen to her trying to talk over him. Stable. Unstable. He is unstable, Brett. Uh, he's not well. well you say he's it, mentally not stable. Uh, he's not stable. Let me ask you this. And, you and told and many interviewers that Joe Biden was on his game, that ran around circles on his staff. When did you first notice that President Biden's mental Mental faculties appeared diminished. Look at her face, guys. Oh my goodness. He walked her right into it. She did not see it coming like a brick wall. Look at her face. She's absolutely stumped. And that's what that pause was. She did not expect him. This is the question that we've all been waiting for. And look at that face she has. Mental faculties appeared diminished. Joe Biden. I have watched in from the Oval Office to the Situation Room, and he has the judgment and the experiment and experienced to do exactly what he has done in making very important decisions on behalf of the American people. There Joe were Biden, no concerns Brett, raised. Brett, Joe Biden is not on the ballot. I understand. And but, Donald Trump, Donald Trump but is. But you talked about it. And Donald Trump After is. After George Clooney said within a few minutes of talking to Donald President Biden Trump at a fundraiser. She's doing it again, guys. She is literally, she's murking up the audio. You can't hear what's really going on. She's making it tough to even hear the question. And then you're even tougher to hear what she's even blabbing on about. And Donald Trump After is, George Clooney said within a few minutes of talking to President Donald Biden Trump, at a fundraiser that he thought this Brett, was not the Brett, same Joe Biden that we saw on the Donald debate stage. Donald Trump is on the ballot. I understand. 
<laughs> Brett, Brett, Donald Trump is on the ballot. I mean, come on. That is the question. I'm so, yo, kudos, hats off to my guy, Brett Bayer, finally asking the question, holding Kamala's feet to the fire. Why did she cover that up? That's what a lot of those voters on the left, those in support of her should be asking. Why did you lie to us? And then slide into that spot. Does it make sense? Listen to her absolutely losing again. I mean, it just does not. It's the one who talks about an enemy within, within, an enemy within, talking about the American people, suggesting he would turn the American military on the American people. We asked that. She's doing it again, guys. She is just drawing it out trying to turn American military on American people. America, wake up. I mean, come on, Kamala Harris. This is more of that fake concern. You can tell that she is so phony through and through. Does she really care? He would turn the American military on the American people. We asked that the question to the former president today. Harris Faulkner had a, a town hall, and this is how he responded. Oh. I heard about that. They, they were saying I was like threatening. I'm not threatening anybody. They're the ones doing the threatening. They do phony investigations. I've been investigated more than Alphonse Capone. He was the greatest. Oh gang. No, it's All true. Right. We've no, been thinking it. It's called weaponization of government. It's a terrible thing. So, Brett, I, I'm sorry. Oh my! I'm so sorry, guys. I'm losing it. The instant fact check on, you know, she's saying Donald Trump pushing this narrative on the American military, weaponizing them on American people. And then Donald Trump plays on the television. Come on now, you know her face during that clip playing had to be so salty. Look at her, look at her response, guys. I mean, come on. That response says it all. So, Brett, I, I'm sorry, and with all due respect, that clip was not what he has been saying about the enemy within that he has repeated when he's speaking about the American people. That's not what you just showed. Well, he was asked no, about that no, specific... No, 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 that's not what you just showed in all no, fairness. No, no, no. Oh my, this is who they're trying to put up, guys. That finger, she got to register that finger. That thing looks like a weapon the way she's been waving it around this whole entire interview. Whenever she gets frustrated, that finger is coming out, guys. You better be careful. That combo finger, guys. When he's speaking about the American people, that's not what you just showed. Well, he was asked no, about that no, specific... No, 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 that's not what you just showed in all no, fairness no, no, no. and I'm respect you to that you. I'm you the question that we asked him. Uh, you didn't show that, and here's the bottom line. He has repeated it many times, and you and I both know that. And you and I both know that he has talked about turning the American military on the American people. He has talked about going after people who are engaged in peaceful protest. He has talked about locking people up because they disagree with him. This is a democracy. And in, in a democracy, uh -oh, finger. the president of the United States in the United States of America. The president of the United States in the United States of America. I'm telling you guys, that finger is a weapon. Yo, what is she even talking about right now? She's about to go on a word salad rant. I can already tell just by the way she's spinning, guys. She's spinning in circles. People up because they disagree with him. This is a democracy. And in, in a democracy, the president of the United States in the United States of America should be willing to be able to handle criticism without saying he'd lock people up for doing it. I mean, y'all, I, I think Brett Bear, I'm gonna try to get it. I can't even get it there, but his face says it all. Just throughout, you could tell he was just so face like, what did I get myself into? This lady is truly a nightmare. She is a worse than what people have told me. You know, it's just so tough being a journalist, being an interviewer of this lady because she will just duck, dodge, and, you know, flip and spin the narrative every single chance she gets. Check out Brett's Afterthoughts. Dana, you've been on the other side. You've been on the, the rapper as a uh, press secretary interviewing a, a president. And, you know, I'm talking like four people waving their hands like it's got to stop. Uh, wow. So, Martha, final. Yeah, um, I had to dismount there at the end. There's so many things and she maybe should do more of these. Dana. Wow, guys. So that's the kicker right there of it all. At the end, they cut the interview short, said almost four different people from Kamala Harris's staff, her team, were waving the arms saying, hey, cut the interview, cut the interview. We can't go any further. After already showing up, like, you would think they had the common DC to let this guy, Brett, at least finish his topic that he's on. No, they're waving, saying, hey, cut the interview. It's too bad. We've got to stop it here, guys. This is absolutely insane. Check out what J.D. Vance had to say, his reaction to it. You know, guys, the thing that I found just so bizarre 
about Kamala Harris's entire interview. 25 minutes of a person who couldn't answer a direct question. How many illegal immigrants have come in? She didn't answer that question. What are we turning the page on? She goes and talks about Donald Trump, who, of course, hasn't been in office for the past three and a half years. Kamala Harris has been. What I saw is a person who, who not just didn't have the skill to navigate a tough interview, but doesn't know how to explain her record because her record is not possible to explain away to the American people. And so she dipped and dodged questions for 25 minutes. That That's not leadership and that's not contrition. And I think the American people would like to see from their vice president an acknowledgement that she screwed up. It's why we have so many of these problems. Real leadership would be promising a new course at acknowledging while the old course didn't work. You know, guys wow. There you go. J.D. Vance land all out there. It's tough to sit and watch her do that. You know, the dipping in a dodge. And I don't know how folks are still in support of that. You know, when you see someone get up there and they don't answer, you get nothing of substance. Sitting there for 25 minutes thinking, OK, I'm about to get some new positions, some new policies. What Kamala Harris truly is. You don't get any of that. I'm trying to figure out how these voters feel, you know, um, you know, satisfied or fulfilled with her answers. There's no substance there whatsoever. Check out what Donald Trump had to say. He tweeted this out on X, guys. He's saying a great job to Brett Baer in his interview with Lion Kamala Harris. Um, she's had a massive irredeemable case of that Trump derangement syndrome. That TDS was definitely on full display. Um, he was blamed for almost everything, it felt like. Um, he's saying it's so bad, in fact, that she is a barely able to talk on any subject other than the man who had the best economy ever, the strongest border in history, and who just got the unanimous endorsement of the U.S. Border Patrol. It's me, the man, the myth, Donald Trump. He says that their endorsement was a tremendous honor. Um, they said that Comrade Kamala did a terrible job, the absolute worst in memory, and can't be allowed to do it again. She is also the worst vice president in history, but hopefully will be soon gone. Again, congratulations to Brett Baer on a tough, very fair interview. Uh, one that clearly showed how totally incompetent Kamala is. And now he's demanding, he says, for the good of our nation, her inferior cognitive ability must be tested at once. So now he is calling himself for a cognitive test on Miss Kamala Harris. I mean, it's crazy, guys. I'm going to end on this one. I just want to show you that Trump derangement syndrome, that TDS that Trump talks about. We've seen on display during that interview. Listen to how many times she brought up and said this man's name. They compiled it all. A compilation. Look at Donald it. Democrats, Trump and Democrats Donald Trump, voted. Donald Trump, 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 and Donald Trump, 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 Let's go back to Donald Trump, Donald Trump, Donald Trump, Trump, Donald Trump, Donald Trump, Donald Trump, Wait, did she just say, let's go back to... Like, guys, hop in the comment section, man. Let me know y'all thoughts. Also, make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you didn't enjoy more content like this, catch you guys on the next one. We got it.